Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at an erosional river feature. This river feature occurs in the upper part of the river and is called a waterfall. Now with a waterfall there are two different types of rocks that are needed for a waterfall to form. And they form in a, a layer as you can see labelled on the diagram. The top layer should be a hard layer and uh, this is more resistant rock that is less prone to erosion. And the bottom layer is a soft rock which is less resistant rock and more prone to rapid erosion. Now when the water comes off the top of the um, hard rock layer and crashes down onto the soft rock layer, as you can see over here, it tends to form a plunge pool. So the velocity and the, the strength of the water uh, enhances the erosion of the soft rock. It begins to undercut the hard rock. And as you can see, a um, section of it can drop off. And what we say is we say that the waterfalls retreat upriver. They retreat backwards. In fact, Niagara Falls is retreating somewhere about 50 centimeters each year. Now when the um, undercut section drops off and falls into the plunge pool, the overhang drops off that is, it will break up into lots of little rocks that will help with the erosion and will enhance it. This is done through the process of abrasion. As the waterfall retreats upstream it forms a steep sided gorge. Now you can see over here in these photos that I've included, uh, you can see the process at the top and you can see an example of a waterfall on the right hand side. I've marked in the plunge pool and you can see also the steep sided gorge. Now this would be quite a typical waterfall um, that can form. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.